thanks for tuning in to episode 19. It's about time for us to give away some racing sims. Two lucky winners will receive a Live for Speed license, a copy of Arca Sim Racing and Race 07. Some great stuff going on in all three of those sims right now. So if you don't have them, stay tuned to find out how to enter. This will be the easiest contest we've had to date. On Wednesday, June 11th, 2008, iRacing.com announced the opening of a completely revamped public website. Although the development of iRacing simulation software and internet racing service will continue indefinitely, the company recently completed beta testing and has commenced a gradual public launch process in which the new public site will play a key role. Scott McKee's quote on the new site stated, To maintain a high quality customer experience, they are being careful to grow slowly. For the next couple of months, they'll be adding new members by invitation only. Some of those invitations will go to people nominated by the beta testers and some will go to their corporate partners. Graduates of Skip Barber Racing Schools, for instance. But they've also mentioned at the new site that anyone is eligible just by registering for updates. If you are worried about getting invited by a beta tester, you don't need to. Just go to their new site and register. As of right now, the free public beta phase is over and all beta testers need to pay to race. They were allowed to keep all the content they purchased during the testing phase. If you're interested in checking out one of the most realistic sims to date, go to iRacing.com. We have some incredible race reports in our SR Tube section under Leagues and then Race Department. You can see some of the best sim racers in the world going at it running Race 07 in the WTCC series hosted at Race Department. Team Redline drivers Gregor Hutu and Dom Duhan have finally come out of hiding and are going at it in this series. We've got Gregor Hutu and Dom Duhan locking out the front row for Redline Racing. Then we've got Samuel LeBert and Rami Kaukola, their third and fourth. And as we wait for the green... Go to our SR Tube section now to check out the post-race report produced by Gareth Hickling and Jared Crossley, with Daniel Pettit doing the commentary. New information has emerged about the GT Academy, the latest promotion by Sony to give Europe's fastest GT drivers a shot at a real racing career. The competition will run for seven weeks and to enter, players must register their PSN ID at gtacademy.eu. The next time they play GT5 Prologue online, they will be able to race in the GT Academy time trial where they will compete to be the fastest around the Iger Norwan track in a Nissan Fairlady 350Z. The entire competition is broken down into three stages. Stage 1 has already begun and you'll have until July 21st to complete it. Then to stage 2, after July 21st, the fastest 20 drivers in each country will be invited to a national final to compete head-to-head -head on GT5. The three fastest drivers from the final will win a seat at the Stage 3 competition. For Stage 3, starting August 25th, the fastest three drivers from each country will travel to Silverstone and take part in the GT Academy, a real-life racing competition on the track itself. Competitors will not only have to prove their driving skills in a Nissan GTR, but will also be tested for their mental and physical skills in a series of tests. The two fastest drivers from Silverstone then have a chance to enter a four-month training program to earn their racing licenses. Then they will drive a fully race-prepped Nissan 350Z at the 24-hour endurance event in Dubai in January 2009. We're at the halfway point, ladies and gentlemen. When we come back, we have some world-class racing series coverage. Welcome back. First up this week for racing coverage, on June 24th, the guys at Team Waltrip have a special event. For starters, there's a prize package of almost $900 going to the winner of the Arca Sim Central Kansas 150. Daryl Waltrip will be on TeamSpeak during the driver's meeting and will say three of the most famous words in stock car racing, boogity, boogity, boogity. As the field goes green, the race will be broadcasted live on PSR TV. Go to TeamWallTrip.com to read more about it or tune in to PSR TV on June 24th and watch it live. 
Formula Sim Racing took to the glamorous streets of Monte Carlo for round six of the World Championships. 78 grueling laps awaited the drivers around this historical but punishing street circuit. After a superb drive at Istanbul, it was Patrick DeWitt who topped the charts in qualifying to give Bracciano racing their first pole of the season. Ernesto De Angelis started on the outside of the front row. Unfortunately for DeWitt though, his dream of standing on top of the podium at this legendary venue would be gone before the race even started. This was due to a rare mistake on the formation lap that sent him straight into the barrier. This left De Angelis at the front, followed by Roy Colby and Yannick Lopshin. Making the most of the clear track ahead, De Angelis led the first stint of the race with relative ease until the first round of pit stops. The big winner in pit lane was Lapshin, who was able to use his slightly heavier fuel load to stay out a few laps longer than De Angelis and Colby, jumping from third place to the lead. On lap 38, David Greco decided he had followed series points leader Bruno Marquez for long enough and pulled off a great move to take fifth place from the two-time champion. A few moments later, Greco attempted a similar move on Colby, but this time proved to not be as successful and left him under attack again by Marquez. After a strong series of laps, Andre Kuntzman would use the second round of pit stops to jump ahead of De Angelis and into second place. The victory in round six would go to Yannick Lopshin with his first win ever for Ash Racing in seven years of FSR competition. The French driver was followed home by Kuntzman and De Angelis. Championship leader Bruno Marquez could only manage seventh after a late penalty for speeding in the pits. So the Formula Sim Racing leaderboard still sees Bruno Marquez in the top position with only a 12-point lead over Roy Colby. De Angelis and Kuntzman follow, and then only three points separate fourth through eighth. The series headed to Montreal, Canada this past weekend, and we'll have a post-race report coming up soon on SRT. The Racers League is a gigantic organization featuring leagues in R-Factor, GT Legends, GTR2, and also WTCC. They have varying levels of series, but their top tier has spawned some of the finalists in the Virtual World Touring Car Championships. Today we focus on Round 5 from Brands Hatch with the WTCC Master Series from Racers League. Starting off on the pole is Marcus Henkel in the SEAT followed by Roman Meyer on the outside row. Everyone will maintain their positions into Turn 1 setting up some great racing. Here on Lap 3 we catch Ekram Cam fighting with Benjamin Mueller for position. A moment later, Michael Schreiner jumps the curb and goes round, giving up a top position. Then Roman Meyer makes a great pass on Henkel for the top spot. Here, real-life WTCC champion Mark Henricki makes a rare mistake and gives up the fourth spot. Before the end of the race, we would see great battling for all positions as we see Tomislav Vladivic and company battling over 12th place. Roman Meyer would go on to keep the top spot and the victory, and Henkel would finish second place. The second race would be a different kind of race with the inverted field. Race leader Michael Schreiner would crash out while sitting in first place. Meanwhile, Meyer, starting from the back, would be forcing his way through the field. Up front, Ekram Cam is doing his best to hold on to fourth, but in the end, Ronnie Hannell was way too much for him. Then Cam is forced to deal with the top finishers from the first race as they charge their way through the field. Until late in the race, it was Henkel that would be on the rear bumper of Henerke. Moments later, he was by and back in the lead again. This fight would continue, however, until Henerke gives Henkel a slight tap and works his way back into the lead. Henkel found trouble from this contact and ended up out of the race. And then WTCC world champion Henrique would go on to take home his first victory in the WTCC Masters League. Ronnie Hannell would hold on to second spot in the race. And at the end of the weekend, it was Roman Meyer collecting 52 points over Marcus Henkel in 49. Racers League will go on to round six, which will be aired live at racersleague.com. Go there for more details on this series and many other series going on over there. The teams of the International GT Championship took to the wide open spaces of the Aston Historic Course on May 31st for the fourth round of its eight race season. In qualifying, the front rows were dominated by two teams. Nolan Scott put the number one core racing machine on the pole alongside Bumby and the number 15 Cone Dodgers entry. Core and Cone Dodgers took third and fourth respectively. Points contenders, the Danish racing team and Speedo Racing followed in row three.
Trouble first reared its head on only the 12th minute of the race, as the Danish racing team and My3ID Gaming each straight line the final chicane in separate incidents and set in motion a nasty chain reaction. Four other cars were eventually involved, bringing out the safety car for the first time. On the race start, the Cone Dodgers cars capitalized on a mistake by Core and took the lead. It would stay like this until the next round of stops when Core would work their way back to the front and then wouldn't be challenged for the rest of the race. As Core drove to another trouble-free victory, the Danish racing team emerged as this round's comeback kids. They bounced back from nearly half a lap down early in the race to finish a strong second ahead of the number 35 core team. Last round's winners, Speedo Racing took fourth, while early leaders Cone Dodgers rounded out the top five. This round brought several rookie teams to the series, and the new guys quickly made their mark. AMT Sim Racing team took a very respectable eighth in their debut, while Conquest Racing persevered through some serious difficulties to take 15th. Both look to be strong contenders in the near future. The already tight point standings scrambled again in the wake of round four with Core Racing leapfrogging Cone Dodgers and Speedo Racing to take the points lead. With four rounds to go, the championship is wide open. The series heads to the rural setting of the West Hill International Course on June 28th. That wraps it up, folks. To enter this week's contest, all you have to do is send an email to contest at insidesimracing.tv. Please include your name and your address and type episode 19 contest in the subject line. The 25th and 50th emails we receive will win a Live for Speed S2 license, Race 07, and Arca Sim Racing, compliments of LFS.net, Simbin, and the Sim Factory. Thank you all for watching the show. If you'd like to support SRT, you can do that by sending in a donation via PayPal or purchasing something from one of our mini affiliates. I'm Jessica Lopez, the checkered flag is out, and so am I. <laughs>